Hello, I'm Scott Patrick in the Dish Studio. The Dance Moms have reunited, and it feels mostly so good. And that means the Dance Daughters are also back together again in Lifetime's Dance Moms The Reunion. It's now playing on Lifetime on Dish. Uh, one person who won't be at the reunion is Abby Lee Miller, who of course runs the Abby Lee Dance Company in Pittsburgh. Now coming up, we'll catch up with two of the dancers, Kendall and Kalani. But first, here's a preview of Dance Moms The Reunion. I can't tell you the last time we've all been in the same room. 10 years. <laughs> I just got chills. We're all Hi, back everyone. together. Hi. I know. Are you shocked? Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm Brooke. Hi, I'm Kalani. I'm Jojo Seawood. I'm Kendall. I'm Paige. Picture that started it all. Dance Moms, it blows my mind because it is now bigger than it ever was. Brooke! Is your mother Get finger your partner? finger you out of be? my face! Girls out the room! That fight happened, and then we never danced again. I feel like I ruined your life and your dance career. I can't believe I caused that. <laughs> I don't know if I can talk about this. All you do is set her up to fail. Who does that to a kid? All right, Kendall and Kalani, welcome to the Dish in the Dish Studio. What a blessing to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. We're excited. Surreal. How surreal was it getting back together? Tell us about that. I think it was so much fun and we've tried for so long to do something like this. And we always talk about how we have this bond that is so unbreakable. And we mm -hmm. could go 10 years without seeing each other, but as soon as we see each other again, it is like nothing has changed. So to be able to all be together again and it's more than just the reunion itself. It's, you know, doing things like this. We've got to spend so much time together yeah. that we don't normally get to do with all of us living in different states, you know, having all of our different busy lives. It's been really fun to get together again. Yeah. I, I don't think we actually thought it was going to happen. When they reached out to us, we were supposed to shoot it in August and it ended up getting pushed back just because of all of our crazy schedules. And we ended up filming it in November. So I was like, you know what, this is going to take years or months to even get us in one room because Kalani like, didn't really get to spend time with Paige and Brooke because she came on when they left. So it was kind of like a first impression, but then we all went through the same trauma. So we all knew each other, basically. <laughs> yeah, there's so many smiles. And I have to admit, there are a few tears that welled up in, in my world uh, when I was watching some of these clips because you... This was an experience and coming back together really felt like a really great therapy session. And I have to say, Kendall, you're in one of the clips we have, I think with Chloe, maybe it was, it's a good therapy session where you're talking about each other and you're encouraging the other and say, it's okay, you've been through this, you've, you've become the person you are because of this. Tell us about uh, those moments where getting back together, there were those, wow, I am the person I am because I did this show. Yeah, I mean, like you said, there was a lot of emotions and it's hard to keep them in when you're surrounded by people who also know where you're coming from. And like bringing up all of those past memories is not easy and it's very mentally and physically draining, but I'm so glad that I have such a strong group of girls who support me and tell me like, you know what, there is light at the end of the tunnel. You are the person you are because of this. It's only made us stronger. We all have such thick skin mm -hmm. and most of all, we have such an amazing bond that will never go away, will never break. When you all look back, do you feel like it was hard to grow up under the spotlight in front of this huge TV audience? Yeah, I mean, I think something that was really hard for me growing up on the show, I was never, like maybe when I was a child, I had a dancer body, but as I started to go through puberty, which is something that I did on the show, my body definitely changed first. We all know what a ballerina is supposed to look like. And I just never fit that. And I could eat nothing for the rest of my life. And it's like, I still just can't get to that body type. And it's like something that I still deal with like to this day. Confidence is the most attractive trait that a woman can have. And like, I, when I see you, you are the most confident person that I know. Know that you're hot, know that you're... I know JoJo thinks I am. <laughs> what we all wanted to do the reunion for was to, you know, express our gratitude for all of those experiences in our childhood to lead us into our adulthood and make us strong enough to be able to handle 
anything that comes our way as adults. And I feel like that was the whole point of us doing this reunion was to just, you know, show everything, show how grateful we are for everything that we went through as kids, whether it was a difficult time or an amazing time, it made us who we are today. And I know for me in my adulthood and anything that I've gone through, any struggles that I have had to deal with, I know that my childhood has definitely helped me be able to become, to become a stronger and better person to be able to handle these things as an adult. She just couldn't stand to see you happy. Nope. Yeah, that situation actually makes me upset because that rivalry that was created was sure in a sense good for pushing the two of us to like, you know, get better and better, but it really took me down. It's right. I need to say. I thought it wasn't enough, like in every single way. And it wasn't until about a year ago that I realized the way I felt about myself were her words still lingering with me like 10 years later. And I realized that's not who I am. That's not my truth. She doesn't define me anymore. She doesn't get that power over me. And I've started to heal. You don't have to compete with anyone. You yeah. are yourself. You're beautiful and perfect. Thank just you. the way you are. And I think you're the winner for making that realization. It shaped you as a child, but yeah. you conquered it and you yeah. overcame all of that. If your current self could talk to your former self, the older to the younger, what advice would you give the younger person? Uh, I always say I what my only regret was not living in the moment and constantly, you know, just wanting to go home and be with my family and have a friend group. And I didn't enjoy the process of filming a reality TV show. So I would just say live in the moment more, enjoy where you're at in life. And there's always going to be light at the end of the tunnel. For sure. I agree with that. You nailed it. Thanks. <laughs> Let's talk about the elephant in the room. There's some cast members that chose not to show up today. I think everyone knows who's not here. Maybe they just don't think they needed this. Some people might still be processing, yeah. and it's hard to talk about some of the stuff that we went through. Yeah. They like closed the book, and they don't want to. Yeah, open they don't want to back backtrack. Up. It's an emotional thing. I feel like. They chose not to be here. Well, that was their and choice, at the end 100%. of the day, they've done several interviews that say they don't even want this a part of their life. But here's the thing, they're not here, so why are they still making trying to make headlines with it? Don't talk about dance moms if you don't want to be a part of it. Right. Why are you talking about it if you don't want to be a part of it? That's what I'm like, why don't. Uh, one person who we don't see in the reunion is Abby Lee Miller. Uh, your thoughts on that? I think if she was busy. I don't even think she could have came if she wanted to. Well, I just think that if Abby did, if Abby was on the reunion, first of all, I don't think that everybody would have done it. And I think it would have just changed the dynamic of what we were trying to do for the reunion. Our goal, which I feel like is what we've, we've done, is we wanted to be show our how grateful we are for our experience. And then also go back and just kind of rehash everything and have a therapy session. And I don't think we would have felt comfortable if Abby was there, where, like I said, we have such a great bond and we're so close. It's like a group of sisters Yeah. that us girls finally had a safe space to be able to talk and share our experiences. And I think it would have been um, belittled if Abby was there. So I think that... Yeah. As much as as we are so grateful for her, and I can speak for myself, I'm very grateful for her. I know that she brought me on the show and has helped me make the career I do have today. I think that it wouldn't have made sense for this reunion. Yeah, I think the dynamic would have been really different. Yeah. And we were just very vulnerable with each other, and it was about us. It wasn't about the moms or Abby. This was a time for us to voice our opinions. And, and tell our story. Show our personalities and our side of something. So I'm... I'm not not glad that she was there, but I'm glad that it ended up the way it did. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Um, you know, when you run into people who watch that show and grew up watching that show, what are some of the things they share with you uh, when when they meet you? I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is they always think they know who we are because of what they saw. Yeah. And I mean, we shot 60 hours a week for a 45 minute episode. So they only get a tiny portion of us. And I just wish that 
I hope that when people watch this reunion, they're like, oh, like that's who she grew up to be. That's how her personality is. That's why, you know, she was so emotional. Like she's an emotional person, but she's able to express it and embrace it. And so I just wish people could understand that that's not who we are. That was only 20% of who we are. And that's the only thing that you saw. And I think that's also why we're very big on social media now, because we wanted to extend that and break that fourth wall and, sh and share our lives even more that they didn't get when we were on Dance Moms. To me, Abby was always right. I did interrupt two adults talking. If I was a mess and a beat off, she wasn't just yelling at me because she wanted to yell at me. I actually was a mess and was a beat off. One thing that I've learned like really working insane in Hollywood is that that's normal. And it's like, it's, it's scary that that's normal, but that taught me how to survive in the industry. I mean, it truly is so tough. I think um, most of the time when people come up to us, the first thing they say is you're my childhood. You know, I think a lot of people have spent, whether you were watched it live, whether you're watching it now, I know I teach dance personally, and my seven-year-olds that I teach are obsessed with the show, you know? And then I'm sure when you're at college, there's college students that are obsessed yeah. with the show. Then there's moms and grandmas, and, you know, there's so many people that watch <laughs> Everybody. the show. So a lot of people, most of the time, I get a lot of if girls are coming up to us. It's usually, you're my childhood, or just, like, we love watching you, and we love watching you dance. So I think it's pretty cool that we get to have that experience, and when we were kids, I don't think we understood it as much. We definitely mm -hmm. kind of lived, you know, we were, it was more just our childhood, but now I think we can look back and realize how, how cool it is and how much it's really impacted our lives. All these people that continue to support us and watch us. Yeah. Yeah. And the ask question, if you could go back in time where you are now and make that decision, whether you would join that, would you still join it? Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have any regrets. And I think like Lonnie said, to end it off, we're very grateful for everything. And I never would have dreamt of, of this, this life. life that I'm living right now. And I'm very, very, very lucky to be able to be with my best friends and do such amazing things like interviews and travel to New York and have people come up to me saying that I was their childhood. I never would have ever imagined that. So yeah. Pretty amazing. I would do it right. over a hundred times again. A <laughs> hundred. Okay. I'm already. Well, well, maybe that was a stretch. Maybe that was a stretch. Actually, you should go through it again now at this age. I think that's a great idea. Huh. We were saying when we have kids, we'll there be the dance moms. we have dance moms and dance grandmas. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves nothing. No matter how bad it got, I always wanted to be there. Then why did you leave? Oh. You're not winning and you're not placing the overalls. It's hard to say I forgive her when she did so many nasty things to me. It's just so bizarre that dance can get to that. I don't think anybody can explain how complicated all of our relationships are with her. That would never come 10 feet near me if she did that to me. Have you learned nothing? We would not be here without Dance Moms. It was literally the stepping stone into who we are today. Them not being here is kind of like, let me erase my past, pretend it never happened, shove it down the drain, when it's like, that's why you are who you are. She's going to go, she's going to do the solo, it's going to be good, and we're all going to have fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 All right, what a blessing to speak with you. Uh, yeah, I've learned so much, uh, and now when... You know, I'm trying to get going in the morning. I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, yeah, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> you do it better. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you got to do it. Shake out your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Great interview. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, thanks to Kendall and Kalani. Catch Dance Moms The Reunion on Lifetime. And again, you can watch all nine seasons of Dance Moms on the Lifetime app. And also, you can view them thanks to Dish On Demand. Just go to our on-demand lineup. That's at Channel 300. But wait, there's more. There's a new 10-episode series premiering on Lifetime right now. It's called Dance Moms Epic Showdowns. This show takes a look at the most explosive dance battles and jaw-dropping meltdowns. Uh, the series is hosted by former dance mom Christy Lukasiak. And also, Abby Lee Miller will appear in this series. I'm Scott Patrick in The Dish Studio.